In this video, we're gonna be creating the, the pistol. Um, this is just the first weapon that we're gonna be creating, but we will be able to shoot it, fire it, and it will look pretty good by the end of this video, hopefully. So first thing we're going to do is go ahead and create our scene for it. It is going to be a, a 3D scene, again. We're gonna call it pistol in this case. And we're gonna add a few nodes to it. The first one we're gonna add is a canvas layer. Now the canvas layer, you'll see why we add that shortly, but a canvas layer is just always displayed on the top of the screen um, at all times. So uh, you'll see why we put that in in a minute. Next one is a control node. And then we're gonna put in an animated sprite, but we're gonna use the 2D version of it down here. So that's part of it. Now I'm gonna click back on pistol and I'm gonna add in uh, another spatial node. And I'm gonna rename this to gun rays. Whoops, I spelled that right, but with a weird app. Um, and we're gonna use this to keep track of all the rays, the, the, ray, the hit scans that are gonna come out of this. Now there's only gonna be one from a pistol, but with a shotgun, there might be seven or eight. So we're going to reuse this kind of code that we're gonna write in a minute. I'm gonna add a ray cast under there. Now this ray cast is gonna be enabled. Ray casts don't come in enabled automatically, kind of weird. We're gonna be zero on the Y and we're gonna be negative 20 on the Z. Um, why can't I see that ray cast? Oh, I can, there it is. It's there, working. We always wanna go into the negative, that's the forward thing for the camera. I know it sounds strange that negative is forward, but uh, that's just how it is. Uh, it's some, I'm not sure why, I'm sure there's a convention behind it, um, but that's how it is. Now this animated sprite, I'm gonna call gun sprite. And that's important that I call it that because I'm gonna reference that in the code. So let's go ahead and um, go ahead and add in our animations. So there's gonna be some new sprite frames here. This one's gonna be called idle. And I'm gonna have a new one called shoot. I'm not gonna have a reload one. You'll see why when we do the shotgun. Now the gun that I'm gonna use, I've got this one called angled gun. Um, and in the idle, I'm just gonna put that pistol there. In the shoot though, I'm gonna grab all of these and that one and put them in like that. Uh, I think these are actually out of order, so I'm just gonna rearrange them. That one goes there, then that one, and then it's back to normal at the end. Okay. Now with this gun sprite, I am going to go ahead and scale it up probably three times. I don't know if that's too big. Okay, we'll just go for two now. Um, and it's stuck up there. You could just drag this around, but there's a problem. If you click play, so this here, you can see how the sprites are, again, similar to last time, different sizes. So we have to do some kind of code foo here, not really got goto foo, some goto magic, and um, pretty much come up with a hack for figuring out how to do this. You would think we could just go, well, anchor it to the bottom right corner. And that would make sense, it's a good idea. Can't do it, goto doesn't let you do it. So instead, this is why we have the control node. So this control node, if you click on this control node, up in the top here, we're gonna set the layout to bottom right. And then we're gonna click on the gun sprite and we're going to, I'll just bring that down here, untick centered, flip it on horizontal, flip it on vertical, and then rotate it 180 degrees. And now it's anchored to the bottom right. So I'm gonna bring it to about here, maybe about there. So it's not quite on the right, but in the center, you know, if it's over there, then, You've either got a really long, weird left arm, um, so I'm gonna bring it to about there, just so it's right at center. Okay, so that's pretty good. I'm gonna save this, I'm gonna save it as pistol. And then in the world, I'm gonna go into world, uh, sorry, in the player, I'm gonna go ahead and under the gun node, um, is this right? Let me double check. I feel like, oh yeah, that's right. Okay, and under the gun node, I'm gonna add in the scene, the pistol. You don't even see it here. If you switch to 2D though, you will see it. And then we're just gonna run it just to make sure that it looks right. Okay. Now I've got all these navigation things showing, so I'm just gonna turn those off. Visible collision shapes, visible navigation, and hit play. Okay, now the animation's just endlessly playing, but we're gonna fix that in a minute, okay? Other than that, look pretty good.
I might move it a little bit more to the right, but for now, that's good. So I'll go back to 2D, gun sprite, Let's move it a bit more to the right. There we go. Let's add a script for this. I'm going to call it gun. Make sure you do this because we're going to use it for multiple guns. And the code looks like this. Let's get rid of that. Um, actually, we will need the ready function. We'll just rewrite it. Funk underscore ready. Um, we're going to say right at the top here, uh, on ready var gun sprite equals uh, dollar sign canvas layer and that one. That's going to be our gun sprite. Um, we're also going to on ready var gun raise equals dollar sign um, gun rays dot get children. So we're going to have an array of all the gun rays. If there's only one thing in the array, all good. If there's 10, all good. Um, lastly, we are going to have a variable called on ready var flash. We're going to make a muzzle flash later, so we're just going to leave that for now. Hopefully it doesn't give us an error. No, all good. All right, on ready, we're going to go gun underscore sprite dot play, and we're going to play um, idle. So we're just going to reset it to that idle sprite, just, just in case. Um, all right, there we go. That's the ready one. And we are going to have some functions here. Check hit. Pass, funk make flash, pass, funk process, pass. And process needs an underscore in front of it and it also needs to have the word delta in here. So it keeps track of the delta time. Let's go ahead and add our code here. Now this code is pretty simple for this. If import.is action pressed we're going to say just pressed. Is actually just pressed, so you've got to click to shoot. Um, shoot. Now, you guys won't have this. You'll have to go project, project settings, input map, and add one called shoot. And then down the bottom, I've set it to control, where if you want like original Doom shoot, uh, or left button on the mouse. Okay, so you can put that in. So if that is and and can shoot and do this stuff here. I'll just put past that. At the top, I need a variable can, can shoot equals true. So right at the top. Don't forget that. Um, I don't know why I wrote past there. All right, so we're going to say gun sprite dot play shoot. And we're going to make flash. And we're going to check the hit. So those three things will happen when we shoot, four things will happen, can shoot equals false. Then we're going to use an amazing tool called yield. And we're gonna wait for the gun sprite to finish. So the gun sprite, comma, animation finished. We're gonna wait for that to finish. And then we're going to say can shoot, we're gonna pretty much reverse these things, can shoot equals true, gun sprite, dot play idle and that's it i can test this now if i go to my world and run this test scene bang 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 it's pretty slow shooting i'm actually going to go to the uh, pistol gun sprite and turn the fps of this up to about 12 and then go back save that run it again Bang, bang, bang. That's a pretty good fire rate. Okay, now I'm not actually doing any damage to him. So let's fix that up. Um, script. In here, check hit. So what we're going to do here is go for ray in gun rays. So for each ray it finds, if I just switch over to the pistol here, for each ray it finds in this list of gun rays, then if ray dot is colliding, then we need to check what is it colliding with. Um, if ray 
dot get collider dot is in group enemy. Finally, we can make that enemy take damage. Ray dot get collider dot take underscore damage. And we're going to say how much. Um, I'm just going to say eight for now. Okay, uh, each ray is gonna do about eight damage. That's that's fine. We could put a variable at the top here. Uh, let's do it. Var damage equals eight. And say damage. Okay, so this here will check for hit. And if it does a hit, the enemy is gonna take damage. So let's go ahead and test now. Make sure it works. Should be able to shoot. There we go. He took three hits and died. Um, that's how it works. Very simple. Um, we will do the muzzle flash now. I'll just check the time of this video because the muzzle flash is a very short uh, component. Uh, yeah, we're only at 11 minutes. So let's go ahead and make that muzzle flash. Um, it's really simple. We're going to create a new scene. It's going to be a light. It's going to be an omni light. You can leave it at the default settings. And I'm going to add a timer. And this timer, uh, we're gonna do some stuff in a sec. So I'm gonna change this to muzzle flash, save this scene as muzzle flash, add a script called muzzle flash. And then the timer, we're gonna to go to node, signals, timeout, double click it. And as long as you've got a script on this muzzle flash, it should connect to it. And we can just type Q3. And then if we go to the timer and click auto start um, and turn the wait time down to the lowest possible time. Um, I might actually change it. We'll see, we'll see what happens. We'll see if it even registers. I think 0.1 is probably better, one millisecond. Then I go to the gun and for make flash, or up here actually, equals. So we're gonna get a reference to that. We're gonna preload uh, scene. So if you just scroll down and find muzzle flash .tscn. do not preload the GD. That's the uh, that's the Gotto script file. Um, but the muzzle flash .tscn. Put that in there. Then in here, let's say uh, var f equals uh, flash .instance. We can create a new instance of that. And we're going to add child f. We're just going to add the f to the scene. It's just going to be a child of the gun which doesn't matter because it's immediately going to be deleted anyway. So let's go ahead and test that. Bang, bang, it, the muzzle flash is working. Uh, if I want to make it brighter, I can. So I go to muzzle flash, chip on the light, light, turn the energy up. Now you can turn it up pretty high. Uh, that's probably too high. Okay, that does work. And you can also play around with the, the range of that as well the indirect energy boom um i don't know what specularity does here in color uh, you can change the range of it make it bigger and so on and so when i hit this okay that muzzle flash comes on now there's other things that we haven't done such as um you know shading adding shadows and things which would which would look cool uh but We've got some stuff happening at the moment. We can we can get rid of this guy. We will add in um, hit registration as well, so you actually see the guy get hit rather than just kind of guess did I hit him or not. So not not hit markers. That's kind of dumb. Um, and a uh, a crosshair as well. So that's all coming up in the next few videos. Hope you enjoyed this one. Stick around for some more coming soon.